In this video, I'm going to go over the way that you can use probes within your MapleSim models. Probes are the devices that you can use to attach to either a component or to lines connecting components to be able to record the variables within a simulation run. So first I'm going to come up here and click on the probe icon, and this gives me a little uh, probe cursor that I can move around in my model. Now I have the ability to connect this directly to a component, so I can click on a port here and have it connected uh, on this rotational flange of my inertia, or I can connect it to the lines between any given components. So for right now, if I click here, I now have the ability to place the probe, and you'll see that I have a default name here, probe, and the variable that it's recording. Now on the right hand side, you'll see that I have some options and I can change around and customize this probe. So I can change the name. So I'm going to call this mechanical probe. And then I have the ability to select the different variables that I want to measure with this probe. By default here, I have the angle. And I also have the name here, phi, that is showing up for it. But I can also change that as well. Now another way of attaching a probe within your model is by using our context sensitive menus. So if I right click here between these two electrical components, you'll see that it says attach probe. And very similar to the probe icon, I have the ability to place the probe anywhere that I'd like within my model. Now you'll notice here on the right hand side that some of my options have changed. I still have the ability to change the name here. But I also have different variables that showed up because I'm now within the electrical domain. So I have electrical variables that I can measure. So over here, if I click on current, I'll measure that instead of the voltage. And I'll leave the name the same. And if I go to run my simulation, you'll see now that I have the titles and the variable names here on the side. And it's showing me my results in these two plots. Now with some of these probes, you also have the ability to change the direction that it's measuring. So you'll see here that it's going, that the electrical probe is going from left to right and measuring the current. But if I want to change that direction, I can right click on it, click on reverse probe, and you'll see here that the probe direction has reversed. And if I rerun my simulation, you'll see here now that I'm getting my results to be flipped around to be in the, in the negative instead of being in the positive. Now using these probes the way that I have so far has been giving me the physical properties with each of these components or connections. But in some cases you'd, you would need a signal instead of the, the physical results. So to get a signal, you can attach a sensor. So right now I'm going to attach an, uh, a rotational sensor here for, let's take the angular velocity. And I'm going to attach this to the inertia component over here. Now the difference with this and using a probe instead of using, uh, using a sensor together with a probe is that if I click on attach probe here, you'll see that I only get one option in what I can measure. And this is because it's giving me a signal rather than pulling the physical property. So if I call this angular, uh, just short form for velocity, but now I have the ability to go over here and click on the sensor and then I can choose the unit that it's going to record my results in. So you, you can see from this drop down menu here, I have some options as to which unit I'd like to use. So I've, I'll just leave the default uh, radians per second. And if I rerun my simulation, you'll see that I get those results displayed here now. 